who's hoping the show stays on for another season and who's ready. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into the beat. Um, honestly, I think that everyone everyone's so aware of how special the show is and and uh, how incredible the, the cast and the crew and our fans are. And um, scene stuff we can answer, but want a really good interview, I'd say go off the rails. <laughs> Just ask whatever. Chloe's an off the rails kind of interview. You can't answer really questions about the show. <laughs> so, if you want to... Who, who's hoping the show stays on for another season and who's ready? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the game. Um, it's also one of those things where you, you don't want to beat a dead horse and you don't want to go... You want to end on a high note and walk away with saying this was awesome. So I think finding that balance is what everyone kind of wants right now. And you're going to be voicing Daisy in the Marvel Rising thing, yeah, correct? Yeah, crazy, right? What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I forgot because I did that such a long time ago. And then the press release came out and I was like, I saw like Quake. And I was like, who voiced yeah. Quake? And it was me. And I forgot. <laughs> So you were raising that at whoever it was. I, yeah, I was. Exactly. I'm very excited. But Ming is also doing that, and Dove Cameron, um, who we had on our show um, who, this season, who is awesome. Um, so that's, yeah, it's a big family event. On well, speaking of family events, how did you feel when you found out Deke's uh, like, connection to some other characters? To some other characters? Yeah, I, <laughs> I was very excited because I, um, obviously I'm new on the show, and when I found out that I had a relationship uh, to you know su such great characters uh, you know, as good of characters as Fitzsimmons are it was very exciting for me because it made me first of all feel more like I was part of it and you know at, from a, as a as just a person but second of all in story wise it just really excited me because we were just saying it, many in our like this doesn't quite explain it because this isn't close. If I could put my fingers into each other and it just went like this, that's what him and Ian are like on set. They're like this. It's actually annoying. Like they're, they're so in love with each other and obsessed with each other that they just have these inside jokes and then they're like little chipmunks that are like, <laughs> all day and it's actually really sweet. So to see that you guys are like related on camera is actually on, that, on honestly, the show is it's, fun. it's he's I, I love Ian and and they like Elizabeth play video so games. Much. Yeah, he'll come into the trailer. I'm like, whoa, we're up night. You look tired. He's like, me and Ian, we're playing FIFA. We're like 15 hours yesterday. <laughs> and um, it's a dream night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But it's very cool. It's like, you know, and, and Chloe, you know, like, Chloe was so immediately welcoming to me like, at, from seriously day one in the makeup trailer. Uh, she put on Kendrick Lamar, and I immediately loved her, and, and she took good care of me ever since. And so to kind of feel like, you know, I am part of this great mythology that this show has built so incredibly well for five years, I feel very honored and very excited. And, and Jeff and was such an essential... I think such a Deke is such an essential character, that, and Deke was a completely different character from what I understand um, before Jeff took on the role. Which is like for any actors out there, like he took, he he, he stole this part at the table read, um, and he it's such a heavy season. It's actually darker. The every the tone is much darker, and the things that, that thematically we're dealing with a lot of bigger, darker issues. And he came in and just took. Like, just really, you bring the comedic relief in such a, like, heartfelt, great way that I, we need it. So I think it's been really fun to That's very sweet of you. It's mostly annoying Daisy. So it's funny that you <laughs> say... It's funny. <laughs> but, but it's funny great. to have that I point of view to be like, Daisy. what's happening? Exactly. Because we go to space and we're like, this is crazy, but then you come to Earth and you're like, what is this orange spread? <laughs> this is insane. And it kind of just gives you a different perspective. It's a lot like what I felt like my character was like in season one, which was like, this is crazy, you're a superhero. Like a lot of my, it was a lot totally. more exciting. Yeah, so it's totally. kind of fun to see how much my character's changed through you and see how you'll probably change on the show as well. 